Boom! Greetings all! Last Outrider back here with the next part of the Horus Heresy series, or Black Legion series, The Legion Wars. Whilst the sons of Horus raised their fortress ever higher and worshipped the corpse of their Primarch, the wars between the other legions that had sided with Horus during the heresy continued to rage. On hundreds of demon worlds, twisted space marine armies clawed at each other, their bodies mutating and changing under the ethereal light of crackling stars. The greed and avarice of the Emperor's children and their hunger for fresh slaves saw them launch dozens of lightning attacks against their fellow traitors and every legion struggled against the other for domination of territories within the Eye of Terror. The Sons of Horus had remained largely apart from these conflicts, but jealous eyes eventually turned their way. Traitorous forces gathered against them and conspired to rob them of the remains of Horus to further vile and selfish ambitions. The Primarch's body, with its potent genetic information and biological secrets, was a great prize indeed. In a sudden assault, the Emperor's children, at the head of an alliance of traitor legions, descended on Malium, striking hard and fast from the warp more numerous than the sons of Horus, and with the element of surprise, they smashed their way through the defenses and into the central chamber of the stronghold. The sons of Horus accounted for the deaths of scores of the debased warriors, but the Emperor's children had cemented their terrible pacts with Slanesh and had grown vastly in power. Laughing, Screaming in wicked joy, Fulgrim's sons were joined by packs of malicious demonettes that spilled into the fortress, snipping off limbs and slicing muscle from bone. In desperation, many sons of Horus made hasty demonic packs, surrendering themselves to possession and opening their minds and bodies to hungering demons. Scores were lost forever as they gave in to the power of the warp. Their flesh twisted and their souls extinguished in a single terrible moment. Demon fought demon in an orgy of death and madness within the halls of the stronghold. As the struggle between the dark gods played out with the legions as their pawns. Unfortunately for the Sun Legions, unfortunately for the sons of Horus, the foe was new, too numerous. Despite their desperate sacrifice, what began as a bitter defensive battle became a fight for survival as the sons of Horus were forced to retreat. The Legion barely survived the onslaught, though they cut down a seemingly endless tide of demons and mortal foes. They tore pale, twisted flesh from the Emperor's children. Their blades slick with vivid crimson blood, but were powerless to stop the Primarch's body from being stolen from the spiraling stasis vault. With the body of Horus secured, the Emperor's children and their allies took their spoils and retreated. As their corrupted enemies faded and vanished into the warp, the sons of Horus could only count the cost in dead and damned, 
and gaze upon the ruins of the stronghold. However, worse was yet to come. The Emperor's children had taken the remains of the War Master to create clones with the aid of Fabius Bile. This was, doubtless, a misguided attempt to restore the power of the traitor legions, and a host of duplicates were birthed from the decaying remains of the once great warrior, each one more of an abomination than the last. Vanquishing the past. Their fortress in ruins, and their legion decimated, the sons of Horus stood on the brink of vanishing forever from the galaxy and fading into cursed history. With their corpse idol missing, the survivors fought amongst themselves, giving in to dark despair or uncontrolled rage. The divisions between the Legion's captains turned into blutter, bitter bloodshed and murder as order completely collapsed. Abaddon had returned from his dark pilgrimage, just in time to see the battle from afar. But none were glad to see him after the loss of Horus's body. It was in that moment that he saw, with cold clarity, that it was the War Master's failure that had led the Legion here. To them, tearing each other apart in the blood-soaked ruins of Malium. For days, Abaddon brooded in the tomb of Horus, while his brothers fought, staring at the images depicting his Primarch's victories, each one now filling him only with hatred and contempt. Finally, Sickened by how far the Legion had fallen, he stalked through the ruins, hunting down his fellow captains, cooling his rage with their final screams. In the end, Abaddon alone remained of the Legion's leaders, demanding obedience from his brothers. Some saw Abaddon as Horus's successor and fell at his feet willingly, whilst others recognized his raw strength and bowed to his might. A few turned their backs on Abaddon and were either cut down by their brothers or managed to escape into the warp. With his legion brought to heel, Abaddon turned his attention to the clones of Horus. He commanded his warriors to extinguish every trace of their former Primarch and free themselves from his shadow. With confessions and rumors squeezed from the tortured throats of demons or torn from the flesh of traitor space marines, Abaddon was able to find the trail left by Bile. On a twisted world of rusting bone, dripping flesh, and boiling blood, the sons of Horus found and destroyed the ghoulish reflections of their Primarch. With the death of each clone, the Legion stepped closer or stepped further away from the failures of the heresy and recovered from their tarnished past. Abaddon understood that destroying the clones was more than just revenge for the Primarch's final betrayal. It was also part of the survivors' salvation. The Legion had begun to stagnate even before the destruction of Malium and the theft of the War Master's remains, trapped by the death of their Primarch and lost without the heresy to drive them. 
when Abaddon finally slew the prime clone of Horus and destroyed Fabius Bile's laboratories. He also destroyed what remained of his former master, his father. The sons of Horus finally died, their past washed away by the blood of these vile abominations. Next time, a new master. Bye! <laughs>